Hey everybody, I'm going to try to help you out and repurpose that PlayStation High or the PS3 camera so that you can use it as a PC camera. Now you might have already tried to install it, realized that uh, the computer has issues. I'm on a Windows 10 right now. You might have realized that the computer has issues recognizing it as a camera. You might have tried different methods, uh, installed different drivers, and still ran into issues when you're trying to use Google Meet or Zoom, being able to actually use your camera. There might be other ways to do this, but I'm going to try to help guide you through this way. Just follow this process. Don't try to take shortcuts because when you deal with drivers, if you have different drivers, incompatible drivers, it doesn't know what driver to use, and you're going to start running into all kinds of problems. So we're going to assume that you already plugged in your camera. It already attempted to install the, the drivers. You ran into problems. I'm going to start from that point, okay, just in case. So what you're going to want to do, this is this is the PlayStation Eye camera or PS3 camera that I'm talking about. You can see some of the technical details here. With uh, It's got 640 by 480 pixels, 60 hertz, 320 and 240 pixels at 120 hertz. Um, it's pretty old and outdated, so it's probably collecting dust, and here you can use it for a webcam. So assuming that you already plugged it in and had issues in installation, we're going to do a clean install. So first go to uninstall go down to your search bar down here and start to type in uninstall and go to add or remove programs if you have any programs in here like there's a ps3 iCam thing that you might have tried installing uninstall all that and basically you click on it click uninstall this is just a demo i've already uninstalled it from my system but if you have the ps3 cam thing that you installed uninstall it all right this is so that we can get to a base clean install all right, once that's uninstalled, go to drivers, start typing in drivers. It'll go into device manager. Open the screen here and check out your audio inputs and outputs. You shouldn't see anything in here that's related to the old drivers. Imaging and devices. And at this point, your camera should be unplugged, okay? Make sure it's unplugged at this point in time. And there's nothing here. And if there is, this this is just an example. You right-click on it and uninstall device. So if there's something that says PS3 cam or webcam, uninstall those from your imaging, audio, sound, video. If you see anything for your video... Once everything is uninstalled, or if you haven't even plugged in the camera yet, you can do this. In the description, there will be a link to this file here. It's the CLI driver. You might have already installed it. You need to uninstall and reinstall it because you need to do it in this order in order to get this thing to work. It might work if you do it a different way, but I, I'm just going to try to give you a clean install in case you're having issues. So download this, it'll be the link will be in the description. Download it. It'll down it'll scan for viruses, download to your computer, save it, save the file. Once it's downloaded, open up where you've saved it. And your computer and your camera should not be plugged in still at this point. Install it. And once it's done, hit finish. Now plug in your camera. I'm going to do the same. Now once your camera's plugged in, click on it. You should be able to see your camera, and I do. So you can see the camera. It works. Hi. Um, now exit that. The problem is once that's installed and you go to Google Meet and start a new meeting you still have no webcam and here you could change allow this microphone I'm not gonna do the microphone but you have no camera no cameras found so even if you go into settings you click on video it's gonna say no camera found so that's when you need to head over there's gonna be another link in the description that'll have this file this many cam file 
in a Google Drive, you can download that there, or you could go here. I'm just going to have a link in a drive in case they ever remove this, but you can download the free version, save that, and then go to your installer. And you can see I've done this a couple times today. So launch your installer. I'm going to see if there's any. Okay, that's good. I like to see if there's any bloatware in here. It looks good to me, except So what's happening is the the first set of drivers helps your computer recognize the PS3 camera as a camera. And then this one actually helps you stream it for online meetings such as Zoom, Google Meet. Again, the first download that you did and installed was the drivers. So it could be recognized on the system. The second one is so that you can actually use that camera in streaming for Google meetings and Zoom meetings and such. Okay, so now that this is installed, we're hitting finish. And you don't even have to log in with any of this. You can if you want, but you can just click X on that. I think this can actually be closed too. I don't think it has to be open. Um, but now let's reload this. It says camera's off. So that's a good sign. Camera's starting. These are good signs. The camera microphone I don't want to allow because I'm using my... Yeti right now. I'm going to allow this camera. Now it's actually showing it. Boom. And so now we can do a Google Meet with our PS3 camera. So if this helped you out, Pro version might allow you to get rid of that watermark. But that's how you can actually use your camera and stream it. If this helped you, please like, subscribe. And I hope it helped you out. Have a great day.